So you're right here at the Altera booth. So who are you? I'm Chris Ballo, and I'm responsible for the SOC FPGA uh, product marketing in Altera. So you're one of the leading uh, FPGA companies in the world, no? That's right. That's right. Altera is one of the leading companies. So what is this new product? It's our second generation SOC FPGA. So it's the uh, it's the combination of an ARM fully dedicated hardened ARM subsystem with advanced FPGA logic, uh, monolithically integrated on the same device. So uh, this is a 20 nanometer and you are shipping now. This is a new announcement? That's right. So we just announced, uh, I believe today the announcement went out, that we are now shipping our second generation SOC FPGA at 20 nanometers. So the first generation was uh, also a Cortex-A9, right? It was a dual core Cortex-A9, that's right. Built at 28 nanometers. And, and now is it still a dual core? Uh, this is. In fact, yeah. in fact, we deliberately replicated the same processor subsystem architecture in the second generation to create a more integrated first to second generation transition option. So it's uh, all the software is uh, kind of like pin to pin compatible. Uh, it is. I wouldn't call it object code compatible, but the structure of it is fundamentally the same because it's the same dual core A9, virtually the same uh, peripheral set. We made some enhancements to security, added a couple of peripherals. So there's a couple of very minor differences, but from an application layer, it's uh, essentially identical. So what kind so of uh, enhancement in uh, security are you doing? Uh, we uh, uh, added a strength into the secure boot capabilities. And we also added uh, some ports for Ethernet and some strength for the, the Ethernet connectivity. All right. And here you're showing Angstrom Linux. That's right. So we're actually showing the, the device here because we announced it's shipping. So we're actually demoing the development kit. And it, we are actually running Linux right now. And, and this is how it looks? Running right here. This is the size of it? This right here? That is, this is this is a partner. So they actually are using, this is a partner's development kit. It's the Altera Alta, uh, ARIA 10 SOC so, development so, kit. So this SOC right here has they, they ARM? Come in, they, has come in different, uh, they come in different uh, densities and different packages. So you'll see a different package between these two uh, development kits. So there's a, in the SOC there's a little bit of ARM, but uh, there's a, kind of like a massive FPGA, you know? That's right. It is a combination of the processor and the FPGA. So how perform how much performance is there in the FPGA on this SOC? Well, the FPGA uh, it really depends on the it really depends on the yeah. on, on the design that you're integrating into the FPGA. Because remember, it's it's really meant to be essentially FPGA is a um, kind of an on-demand ASIC. So it's a software programmed ASIC. And so people so can do really stuff like this. Uh, what is this kind of demo? This is um, this is really just a robotics uh, motion control demo, and it's using our first generation SOC, so the Cyclone Five SOC. Just uh, showing an example of how you can uh, put robotics demo and partition the control algorithm between the FPGA and the processor. All right, and let's let's go. Let's walk around around here. There's uh, um, all these. Uh, these boards that you're showing right here. Yeah, we've we've had a uh, just a tremendous amount of interest from partner companies to build out development kits and application-specific uh, reference designs, and so this really uh, shows you just a, uh, a sampling of those things. All right, lots of companies working with the Cyclone, and they're all going to work with Iria too. They, they might. They can just. It really uh, depends on the application they're targeting. Right. And then we have right here. Uh, so, hello. So, who are you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Graham Baker. I work in the low cost product marketing group. So, I'm responsible for Max 10 and Cyclone 5 in Europe. So, here at Max 10, what is Max 10? So, Max 10 is our newest F low cost FPGA. So, this is uh, a non volatile device. So, we store up to two configuration images inside the device and it's selectable at power up which image you actually run from. So it's a entry level, it's kind of like an entry level FPGA ARM solution or? This is an entry level FPGA, there's no ARM hard IP core as we have in uh, the Cyclone and Aria families today. Only FPGA? Yeah. yeah. So this is just a pure FPGA. And uh, so how does it how does it work and what can people do with this? Okay, so some of the key differences about Max 10 
are, as I mentioned, it's a monolithic die, so it has onboard flash memory. But we're trying to solve different problems to what we've done before with FPGAs. So we have integrated analog to digital converters, for instance, on the die. We've also done a lot more with packaging. So we now have a range of packaging from four millimeter square chip scale packages right up to 500 IO uh, larger devices in 672. So when you say entry level, what does that mean? And how entry level is this? Entry level, so you can use these devices from very small, simple, almost glue-like functions or to something like this where we have a motor control demonstration running. So this particular design has a NEOS processor inside it. It's running all of the uh, communications up to the PC. And the actual motor control is controlled by the FPGA array itself. So we've developed a control algorithm using DSP Builder, which is, runs in the MATLAB Simulink environment. And we can take, we can control the motor here. And this particular demonstration, it's a wheel of fortune, we know where the wheel is, in this case it's pointing at max 10, and on the screen here it correlates to it, this is the image that that's come, comes up. So if you hit the max 10 you win the board or? If you get three the same you win a prize, or if it's a score over 25.